Ruin my sister's life? Fine, I'll just destroy every part of your life and laugh. My sibling was visiting me from our country of origin for my wedding. They had flown for many hours, all as a teenager, in order to represent our family at the small wedding plan. My sibling, to be called darling sibling or DS is the sweetest and kindest human to exist. They had been dating their teenage sweetheart henceforth known as piece of poop or Dan for about two years. I hated Dan from the moment I met him. He didn't treat DS right. He was unfaithful. He was already on a very very short leash in my mind. Anyway, DS and I went sightseeing, went out clubbing, shopped, I got married, blah blah blah. It was great. Until one morning I wake up to find DS in tears after being up all night long. I come to find out that Dan had dumped DS over Facebook and admitted to cheating on DS and was already Facebook official with Dan cheating partner. Remember, DS was a teen so the Facebook official thing really was a punch to the gut. Needless to say, I lost my effing poop. DS was due to fly home the next day. Dan wasn't even grown enough to break up with DS face to face. First order of business? Go into the city, get absolutely wrecked and cause some mayhem. Accomplish that mission, get DS on flight back home and begin plotting my destruction of Dan. Now, Dan was not only on a short leash with me. He was on a short leash with his school and his mother for his usage of pot. I knew this. And I used this. It was his last year of school, so I wanted to ensure he would be expelled and ruin his chances of any decent university. I also wanted to make good on his mom's promise to kick him out should he get caught with pot again. Two birds, one stone, and that one stone would be a brilliantly crafted email detailing his drug-related transgressions and where to find pot in his car, which would be parked on school property. And did I ever kill both birds? My plan worked smoothly and brilliantly. DS. Called me freaking out asking if I had done something as Dan had blamed them for it. I feigned innocence and said I'm all the way 10k kilometers away? How could I have done anything? I'm waiting until my next visit home to beat his jerk. Dan was thrown out of his mother's home and had to live with his abusive and SHD dad. He was expelled from school. He did not finish and was not able to start university on time. I cackled for ages. I am laughing now, years later. I did finally admit to DS that it was me. DS about slapped me, but they did laugh. For those wondering, DS has the career of their dreams now, is in grad school, and is marrying a wonderful human who worships the ground they walk on. As for Dan? Last I heard, his life is in the gutter. F that guy. I wish I'd have done more.